Today, thousands of Central Floridians either filled local stores or waited in line outside, all in hopes of grabbing some bottled water, canned food, batteries, and other items ahead of the storm's potential impact. New 6's Nadine Yanis spoke with some of those people preparing. She joins us now from a Home Depot right across the street from a Costco there. And Nadine, it has just been packed there all day. So busy. In fact, the Home Depot is just to my right. There is a Target to my left and a Costco just behind me. And you can see by the mix of carts here that what Flamings have been doing have been parking in one spot, hitting up all three stores, stocking up as easily as they can before Hurricane Irma hammers down. We went to Costco first. We've been here since 10 o'clock, so it's an hour and a half now. And then we're going to go to Home Depot. Stacy Scovanner came to Costco in Altamont Springs today with her mom and dad, all three living in separate houses, but took one trip together, knowing it was going to be chaos at Costco. It's just easier car-wise and family and trying to get it all done all at one time. I think it's crazy. I mean, there was people cutting each other off while we're standing in a long line just to check out the water line. They already ran out of water, but people are still all in line in like a circle to go get water. But like most dads, Carl Mahala says they and all of these shoppers snatching items off the shelves, waiting in long lines and gassing up their cars need to stay calm. People were going completely bananas, so I'm used to this. Okay. So I just, I just remain calm and take a deep breath and just go with the flow. Which is what many of the stores are saying today. Walmart saying though many of their stores in Florida have run out of water, they've already had 800 trucks on the road to replenish. And at Home Depot, they too have more trucks heading in. Both stores have already set up their emergency operations center and are already sending more supplies to Central Florida. And many of the stores I spoke with today say it's actually a good thing that these shelves are empty so soon. That means that people are getting ready early. That also gives them a chance to restock on supplies. We're actually going to hear from a manager at the Home Depot behind me who tells me that he's never seen anybody prepare as early as Floridians are today. That'll be in my story tonight at 5 o'clock. Ladies, back to you. Better to be safe than sorry. Nadine Giannis reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.